master switch is on and let's go for a engine start oh first pull afternoon campers welcome back right recently a subscriber by the name of Bob Nied Balek, I'll probably pronounce that completely wrong, so if I have, I'm sorry, Bob. Uh, anyway, he asked a question on one of my videos, and that question was, uh, just wondering, what does a full stall look like, and how does the wing behave? Well, Bob, that's a very good question. So, this one's just for you, mate. Darlingmore Traffic Golf, Charlie Mike, Papa X-Rays entering and lining up runway 01 Astro Turf, Darlingmore. I know I have. Just said that. Okay. Full power. Car coming forward. Oh, I tell you, it's nice to be back up in the air. I've not flown for a while due to the weather. We do like to moan about the weather in this country. We're pretty good at it. That's generally because the weather's always rubbish. Uh, so far, bearing in mind it's supposed to be summer, June has been atrocious. I had to put the central heating on the other day. June, it's bonkers. Uh, it's probably my fault because I have taken most of the month of June off. In fact, I'm working three days in June. Uh, so there'll be the days when it doesn't rain. However, today we have got a bit of a break in the weather, so I'm making the most of it. So let's get back to Bob's question. Uh, just to remind you, I'll put it up on the screen, all the full questions. So basically he was asking, what happens in the full stall? What does the wing behave like? Uh, and he made a mention that very often he sees videos and it looks like uh, flex wing pilots take it to the brink of a stall um, and then sort of back off before the stall fully develops. So the question he was asking is, what happens if you hold it on and let that stall fully develop? So in this video, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you what happens when you uh, put a wing like this into a full stall. Spoiler alert, like most things I do, Mrs. Bill tell you it's a bit of an anti-climax. Just whilst I'm on my way over to the practice area, there's a bit of a safe area where we, um, we practice things like this uh, from Darley Moor. So just whilst I'm heading there, I just want to say thanks to Bob for asking the question. Um, it really does help when people ask questions because um, I always like to try and answer them. Uh, as best I can. Bear in mind, I am not an instructor, so take what I say with a pinch of salt. Uh, I'm just giving you my opinion and what I think. Um, I could quite possibly be wrong. If I do say something that's wrong, then please, that's what the comment section for. Leave me a comment. I've been married for 27 years. I am well used to being corrected. But yes, the other thing about asking a question is it gives me, uh, it gives me ideas for videos as well. So if you have got a question or something you'd like to see or something you'd like to try and explain, do leave me a comment and let me know, and I'll, uh, I'll try and oblige. I guess I should also just explain what a stall is. Um, I have been reminded when I make these videos that I've got to bear in mind that some people watching the videos might be absolute um, beginners to, to microlighting. They might not know um, things that I talk about. So if I do say things um, and you don't understand what they are, then again, that's what the comment section is for. So just let me explain what a stall is, or at least... Uh, my understanding of what a stall is. So if you slow a wing down through the air, in order for it to generate, carry on generating enough lift to keep the aircraft in the air, it has to uh, increase its angle of attack to generate more lift. Uh, which is all very well up until a point when it reaches a certain angle of attack, it's called the critical angle of attack, what happens is the air that goes over the top of that wing can no longer cling to the wing and it becomes disrupted and turbulent. At that point, the wing stops generating lift, and at that point, you enter into a stall, uh, and that's when your wing starts falling out of the sky. So that's what a stall is, anyway. I know that there are other types of stall. It doesn't always have to be slow flight before anybody says anything. You can enter a stall from um, from uh, at speed, but I won't go into that. Essentially, that's what a stall is, though. It's a loss of uh, a loss of lift over the wing. Just before I do any stalls, uh, I need to do a, uh, a bit of a, a check. We call it a hassle check. Uh, I don't normally record checklists or film checklists because I think they're a bit boring. Um, but I do do them, I can assure you. However, um, it's quite—it's uh, not often I do a hassle check because um, I don't normally 
mess around too much in the sky. Um, so I thought I'd include this one just so that you know what it's all about. So the hassle check, the H stands for height. Uh, at the moment I'm at 2,000 feet over the ground, which is more than enough height uh, for me to recover from a stall. A stands for airframe, which doesn't really, um, doesn't really matter so much with this aircraft because I haven't got anything uh, as such that needs configuring. I think that's a uh, throw over from GA type stuff, so it stands for, you know, make sure you've got flap set and trim set and all that sort of stuff. I haven't got any of that, so it's not an issue for me. Uh, S stands for security, that is an issue for me, so there's nothing loose um, that uh, can get flown about, thrown about. Uh, my helmet is done up tight, harness is done up. Yes, it is, so I'm all secure. Uh, H-A-S-E, engine. Engine is, uh, temperature is good, running like a dream. Uh, L stands for location. So are you over a suitable location? Um, I am over Great Big Fields. It's a uh, countryside type area. Camera will probably see what I'm looking at. Um, I'm not over a residential area. I've got plenty of fields as land out options should I need them. So I'm happy with the location. Uh, and the last thing is a lookout. And that is just, as the name suggests, have a good look round. So the way to do that is to do a 180 degree turn, make sure it's all clear. Just have a good look round, make sure you're not going to come into conflict with anything. And I am happy that we're all clear. So, let's get Teddy in a... Uh, direction back towards the airfield and we'll enter into a stall so what I'm going to do for this first stall because uh, I'm going to do a couple uh, is I'm just going to back off the power and then I'm just going to maintain straight and level by feeding the bar forward to the point where the bar reaches the strut and it can't go further forward and see what happens so so there we are at the idle that's as far forward as it's going to go uh, there you go Bob, that's what happens. <laughs> Nothing in a nutshell, we just sort of mush about for a bit. Uh, I am descending at 2.6 metres per second, but as you can see, there's no violent stall, there's no, you know, violent nose down action like that. Nothing. We're just descending gently. I have still got roll control as well. It's hard work mine, but I've got roll control. So that's what happens. Nothing. So I lost 300 feet there, so I'm just going to climb back up to 2,000 feet. And then we're going to try something else. Right, so there we are, back up to 2,000 feet. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and provoke the wing into something a bit more akin to what you probably recognise to be a stall. And the way to do that is to build up a little bit of speed first and then put the aircraft into a climb with the power off and then let it let it stall. So let's see what that looks like. So bar back, try and build up a bit of speed. There we go, and into a bit of a climb. There's the stall, power on, bar back. And into the climb. I lost 40 feet. So that's about as adventurous as I'm going to get for two reasons. Firstly, the, uh, the pilot operator handbook says that um, with this wing you should not go any more than 30 degree pitch up or down. Um, and if uh, I provoked it any more then I might exceed that. Um, the worst case scenario is you can end up with something called a whip stall, which is um, something you want to try and avoid. Uh, if I can, I'll put up a video or a bit of a clip of what a whip stall is. Uh, but essentially though, if a whip stall happens, that is a bad day at the office. You don't want that to happen. So anyway, Bob, I hope that answered your question. What does a wing behave like in a stall? In a normal stall, this really is a benign thing. It, uh, it's a non-event. But it is something that's worth practicing uh, on a regular basis, so you know what it feels like, you know how the aircraft behaves when you're about to go into a stall and you can do something about it. So there you go. 
if you've found that useful, I'd be really grateful if you just took a second to look for that thumbs up at the bottom of the screen and give it a quick click. It takes you a second, doesn't cost you anything, and it helps the channel out massively because the more thumbs up a video gets, the more people that YouTube shows the video to, uh, which helps me out, helps the channel out. So if you gave me one of those, I'd be really grateful. I'll tell you what, it's cold. Whoa. Also, I'd be really grateful if you could be like Bob. Bob has subscribed to my channel. Bob is a nice man. Uh, be like Bob. Right, I'm getting really cold now. It's supposed to be June. Feels like January. Let's see if I can land. Charlie Moore, traffic golf. Charlie Mike, Papa X-ray is uh, dead side descending for zero one. Charlie Moore. Charles was riding, it's bumping down low. Right, let's do a proper downwind check. Ford, fuel sufficient to go around. Airfield, there's one paramotor just setting up. Wind. Not a lot looking at that windsock, although it's bumpy up here. Nose wheel is straight. Throttle is set. And I'm all secure. Charlie Moore, traffic off Charlie Mike Papa X-ray is late down wind for zero one Astro Turf Charlie Moore. Charlie Moore, Golf Charlie Mike Papa X-ray turning final zero one Astro Turf to land Charlie Moore. Right, well that was definitely not my finest landing, but listen, I've not flown for a while, that's my excuse, so I'm sticking with it. Uh, feel free to rate that landing in the comments down below, be as brutal as you like, I'm a big boy, I can take it. Right, that's it, I'm done, and I'll see you on the next one.